from Santa Clara, California, it's theCUBE. Covering Technovation World Pitch Summit 2019. Brought to you by SiliconANGLE Media. Now, here's Sonia Tagare. Hi, and welcome to theCUBE. I'm your host, Sonia Tagare, and we're here at Oracle's Ag News Campus in Santa Clara, California, covering Technovation's World Pitch Summit 2019, a pitch competition in which girls from around the world develop mobile apps in order to create positive change in the world. With us today, we have Team Tech Witches from India um, with um, Ananya Grover, Vasudha Siddhinder, um, Vanchika Yadav, um, Arefa, and Anushka Sharma. Welcome to theCUBE and congratulations on being finalists. Thank you. <laughs> so your app is called May3. Can you tell us more about that? Uh, yeah, our app is an Android application which connects old age homes with orphanages so that senior citizens can spend time with orphan children. And individuals like you and I and everyone else can volunteer and donate to old age homes and orphanages through our app. Okay, and so how would someone use the app? Can you so go through step by step? Uh, so as an individual, if you log into the app, you'll see two lists. So if you press on connect, you could either press on connect to an old age home or connect to an orphanage. So for instance, I want to connect to an old age home. I press that button, I would see a list of old age homes. Um, and that list is a list of organizations that have signed up on the app. So um, I press and they're arranged on the order of proximity to my location. So uh -huh. I press on whichever one I want to uh, view and then I see all of their details. I could contact them, connect to them by messaging them, calling them up, uh, viewing their website or even navigating to their location using Google Maps. Then I could also press on see what donations they require and see exactly what they need. For instance, if an organization requires clothes or blankets, I would be able to view that and donate accordingly. Okay, so it's not just um, uh, introducing um, older people to orphans. It's it's more about like just like what can we do as a society to like donate to these exactly. organizations. Exactly, and uh, as the administrator of an old age home, uh, you can connect to an uh, orphanage and organize meetings between senior citizens and children, so they can spend time together and have fun activities. For instance, we have already conducted two activities in which uh, people mingle together and. And the children were singing songs and they were even you know sharing stories they were dancing together it was really heartwarming wow and um, are, do you have any other success stories from what's happened so far so yeah so the two meetings that have been conducted already were huge successes in our opinion so um, we had children from an orphanage called uh, Sai uh, Bal Kripa going to an old age home and um, they spent time with the elders there, talked to them, mingled with them, uh, learned about their life experiences. And um, we, and, uh, in the other meeting, children were singing songs and uh, the elders and children were sort of having fun together and it was amazing. So I visited your Instagram page, and, which looks amazing, by the way. Thank you. And I noticed that um, there were a list of activities for um, every for uh, for them to do when they meet each other. So can you tell us more about those activities? Uh, yes. So some of the activities I already talked about them, but they could also sort of have a picnic together, get some food for each other, or the children could make drawings, write poems for the elders, and those can be put up in the old age home itself, so that even after the children leave, it's like a reminder and a token of love uh, for the elders that reminds them that they uh, are loved and they uh, are cared for and they could also have other activities like yoga sessions together maybe read books to each other those are the kinds of activities that are listed on our app how did you come up with this idea oh uh, well the initial inspiration, or I wouldn't say inspiration, it was uh, a personal incident that happened to me. So I lost both of my grandparents within the span of a year. Um, I lost my grandmother to can cancer. And then after her, she passed away, my grandfather sort of felt like really lonely and that he had lost all purpose in life. And I could see firsthand the effects that loneliness could have on someone's mental and social well-being. And that led to health problems that he never ever had before. And we lost him, uh, in, unfortunately, in January this year. So 
I really wanted to work on senior care and then my teammate Vasudha suggested that we should also include orphans within this since you know we uh, in India especially we have a very strong familial bond between children and grandparents and these children do not have that same connection they grow up without that kind of nurturing love that only parents or grandparents can provide to a child and so we felt that we should be do solving both of these problems and bridging them together in some in some way uh, and that's how we came up with this with this idea. Oh, it sounds like it's, it's an amazing idea, and thank you so much. It, it also sounds like you know it could help uh, more than just the community that you're in, but it could really help the whole world because so many people deal with loneliness, especially in old age or orphans who who want love from a grandparent or a parent. So it just sounds like it could be really useful to a lot of people. Thank you. So, um, how has your experience at Technovation been? Uh, it has been an amazing journey. We weren't expecting to make it to this level and it's just phenomenal and a huge honor to be standing here. Um, and we began by just, we just formed, we are all classmates um, and we have known each other uh, for a while. And so we just found out about this competition, formed a team, started working towards it and uh, we were really passionate about this cause. So working and taking time out of school to work on this just came naturally simply because how uh, important this cause was for us personally. Um, and then so throughout the technovation journey we kept on learning new things not all of us were uh, aware of how to code applications so we used technovation's uh, curriculum and other online resources to teach ourselves those skills along the way and developed our entire project submission and yeah, it's just amazing to be here now, pitching in front of such a huge audience. Absolutely, it's such a huge um, success for all of you. Um, so, um, can you tell us more about how um, how you all met? You said you're classmates, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, the four of us are classmates and um, Anushka is in another class within the school. So, we already sort of knew each other and uh, I found out about the competition online and Technovation seemed really ins like a great platform especially because it's, it's like it specifically wants to empower women to code and go into ma still male dominated fields like computer science and entrepreneurship. So um, the four of us are science students and she studies commerce and that's how we came together and started working. That's amazing. So where do you hope to see this app, you know, if you get the funding, if you win today, where do you hope to see it in five years? Right now, uh, our app has already been launched in the Play Store and we have about 1,000 plus downloads. In the future, we would like to not just um, to expand out of the Delhi NCR region where we are currently working and uh, go pan India and hopefully in the future, in about 10 years maybe, spread this throughout the world because I feel like communities across the world can benefit from Maitri. That's amazing. Uh, best of luck to all of you and, and good luck for your pitch tonight and congratulations once again. Thank you so much. So this has been Team Tech Witches from India. Um, you're watching theCUBE. Stay tuned for more. Oh.